A Michigan judge's new ruling could affect you at the ballot box. If the ruling stands, ballots postmarked a day before the election must be counted. CW50's Chris Walker has more. Michigan voters are being encouraged by the Department of State to return absentee ballots as soon as possible to avoid a late rush following a court's decision to extend the postmark deadline. But many um, of our local leagues are volunteering to help the clerks out. And then, of course, we're encouraging poll workers, um, people to volunteer for poll workers and to help on the absentee um, ballot uh, counting boards. Michigan Court of Claims Judge Cynthia Stevens made the ruling Friday, mandating clerks to count all absentee votes with a November 2nd postmark, even if it arrives after polls close. If the ruling holds, it applies only to the November 3rd election and could increase the possibility of slowing down the counts, which could leave voters waiting days for the final results. Well, I'm not sure um, exactly how long it will take, but um, the Secretary of State has been very clear in the fact that don't expect to have a result in, on the election day because we are encouraging so many absentee um, um, voters. Some members from the Michigan Republican Party tried to intervene as defendants in the case, but those motions were denied. Some of these, the changes that the judge just ruled on are sitting in the legislature right now and um, they just haven't moved. And that's a very good question. I don't know why they wouldn't want to support voters. In Michigan, two years ago, we voted to um, overwhelmingly to make voting easier um, and more efficient and convenient for the voters. Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson released a statement about the court's ruling that reads in part, we still want voters to make a plan to vote now and not wait until the last minute if they want to vote by mail. Reporting in Detroit, Chris Walker, CW50 News at 10.